Hello, welcome to my aquaponic system. I wanted to give you a quick overview of what I did, how I set mine up. I used uh, IBC totes, intermediate bulk containers. For the fish tank, I have a 330 gallon IBC tote in the back. I painted the outside and then wrapped it in a shade material to keep the sun down off of the uh, tank, prevent algae growth, and keep the water cool. Living in Phoenix, Arizona, the temperature is reaching about 110 plus every day. So the importance here is to uh, try to minimize water loss or evaporation and keep the uh, water cool for the fish. It's not quite finished. It's probably 90-95% complete. I still have some uh, little odds and ends to clean up. I'm contemplating adding a squirrel filter uh, coming out of the fish tank into the grow bed. I've used a 2 inch pipe out of the fish tank into the grow beds, reduced down to an inch and a half with a ball valve. I've turned the uh, elbows up to allow the water to uh, trickle into the system. It uh, will aerate the water a little bit better and won't uh, have such a forceful flow into the grow beds that it disrupts the clay balls. My beds are uh, probably 14 inches deep. I used a uh, one inch standpipe, a two inch bell siphon, and then a four inch shroud with a cover over the top. I have three uh, traditional grow beds and then I have one floating raft bed. The floating raft bed still has to have a uh, biofilter put in, that's what will be uh, going down there at the end. Underneath the uh, rafts, you can probably see it bubbling a little bit, I have a uh, stone aerator that is providing oxygen to the root system. Again, there's no plants. I'm cycling this system, getting the pH right, making sure everything is ready to go before I start putting plants in. Once I uh, start to plants, what I plan on doing is planting one grow bed and half of this raft bed to start. That way uh, I'll be cycling the plants and not creating a spike in the system uh, when you go to harvest. So I plan on uh, planting this uh, bed and then two or three weeks later planting the second one, two or three weeks later planting the third. And about the time uh, this one starts to uh, mature, the first one will be ready for harvest. I take you around the uh, back side. Because we have so much water loss, I need to have a water supply, so I've got a 55 gallon drum that I'm going to use to catch rainwater and also uh, be able to resupply the system. I used two sump tanks, one tank there attached to the other tank. This first tank here has a, a 2,000 gallon per hour fountain pump. It's quite large, but it uh, cycles all of that water very easily. I've then got it flowing out of that tank back into, a, into the fish tank. I made a screen for the top, one so that I can open it up, tend to the fish, feed the fish, catch the fish, do what I need. And the other acts as an aerator for the water flowing in. Puts in uh, oxygen, cools the uh, water as it goes in. in. I used a T instead of an elbow. Works much better. Uh, the elbow tended uh, to uh, overfill and want to start a siphon. This T allows for full maximum water flow through that two inch pipe. You see this system's been running now for over a week just cycling and the water is clear and pure and the screen helps keep the debris out. I've got this system set up underneath a mesquite tree for shade and these little uh, leaves, these tiny leaves get everywhere so that screen helps keep the uh, the leaves out. The way I've got this plumbed is I've got this pump in here and then coming off of the pump straight up I've got a ball valve, an inch and a quarter ball valve and then I've got it teed off into two other valves. The black valve goes straight up and over and is constantly taking some of that water back into that sump tank to recirculate it. The red valve 
takes water through this black hose over into the other sump tank and recirculates that. The other continuous flow into this tank is coming from the raft bed. Water goes into that raft bed, is constantly flowing out, so it keeps a pretty even balance in this sump tank. Obviously this one is drawing more because the pump is in there and I've got them joined together with that pipe. I'm going to add a balance tube right there going over to the other tank that will join in right there. That will keep the water balance between the two tanks even better. In this tank, because I don't have as much water for circulating the water, I added a bubbler in there as well to oxygenate this water. I've got quite a bit of water, 300 gallons in the fish tank and another 100 to 150 gallons in each one of these sump tanks, plus about 100 to 150 gallons in this raft bed, and then whatever's flowing through here. The more water you run, the less chance you have for uh, ammonia spikes in your system. And with the evaporation, I can be gone for several days and it won't hurt the system or cavitate the pump. That's about it. I appreciate you look, uh, looking when I get it completed and I start throwing plants in. I'll post another video. Thanks. Have a great day.